Welcome to my madness, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at this custom doomsday that I threw together. But I do want to preface this video by saying I am not a professional customizer. I am but a lowly, humble kit basher who occasionally likes to paint some stuff up and tweak some things to make them look a little cool because it's fun for me and it adds a little bit of something to my shelf that I enjoy. And that's why I make these videos, not to say, hey, look at this awesome custom I did. It's to say, hey, look, you can have fun with your collection and you don't have to be the best sculptor or painter or anything like that. You can just, by swapping a few parts and adding a little dab of paint here and dab of paint there, you can have some fun with your collection. And that's what I encourage people to do because your collection should be fun. That's the whole point of this, okay? So that's why I'm putting this video out there. All right, so let's talk about this doomsday I slapped together. Obviously slapped them together with a Devastator figure. You've probably seen this done a hundred times since the Devastator figure was released. What was it, a year or two ago? I can't even remember when they released that Devastator Superman 2-pack, but you've probably seen this done a bunch, okay? So this is nothing new. I take no credit in coming up with this idea of turning Devastator into Doomsday. Devastator was already mostly Doomsday, so this is not a difficult custom to do. But obviously I did add some stuff to him to make him more Doomsday and less Devastator. And we're gonna talk about that stuff here. Now one of the things you're gonna notice right off the bat is the bright, stark whiteness of all the bones on this figure. And some of you aren't going to like that. And to be honest, it was not my intention to do that. When I started with this figure, I was going to paint all the bone spurs and spikes white and then go over them with a dark wash to kind of make all the bits and pieces stand out a little more and just give it a more realistic look to go with the rest of the figure, which has much darker tones and things like that. But when I did this and when I got to that point to do the wash, I just couldn't do it. And the reason was because the stark white of these bones against the contrast of the darker grays and stuff of the body just popped to me in the way that they popped off the panel in the comic books back in the 90s. I mean, it just really, really did. And I just liked it so much. I decided not to put a wash and darken up all those, those bone spikes and spurs. And that's personal preference, guys. You know, you do what you want. It just really popped to me, and I really loved the way it turned out just as is. So at that point, I didn't do the wash, and I just sealed all the paint and left it like it was. I, I didn't intend to do that. It's just kind of how it works out. But again, that's my personal preference. So you can see here we have mostly a Devastator figure. Obviously, I've added some things and removed some things. As far as removing things go, you can see there on the head, um, you know, this Devastator figure, which is supposed to be a cross between Doomsday and Batman, had these large bone spiked Batman ears on the side. So I got rid of those and, uh, you know, just to make him look a little bit more Doomsday-esque. Uh, and then I did add some stuff as well, namely uh, these larger bone spikes here on the arms because I like it when Doomsday has been damaged quite a bit. And, you know, the more that Doomsday as a character is damaged, the more bone spikes and protections that he grows. And so I like it when he has the larger spikes coming off the arms, which this Devastator figure didn't come with. And in fact, even the new two-pack Doomsday Superman coming out here pretty soon uh, just reuses the same Devastator arms, which it was kind of a disappointment to me, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so I added these, and I also added the, uh, uh, you know, spine here, the big bone spine there. And, um, again, this is something you've probably seen a hundred times, so I take no credit for this. But I had one of those, um, I forget what they're called, but the, the bat cycle that came out here a while back for the death metal Batman, right? It had all the bones and stuff on it. I use that, uh, and you can see this on my channel, to do a custom Ghost Rider. And I have that rib cage piece. I had it left over. And so I decided to use the bones from that rib cage piece to add to this figure. So we've got some of the larger rib pieces here that I used to do the larger spikes there on the arms. I uh, cut up some of the smaller pieces to do this chest plate there. And then the spine of that, that rib cage piece, I used to do the spine on here. I did have to heat this up and shape it 
to the shape of, of, of Devastator's back and get it glued on there. But it came out really nice for me. May not be your personal preference, that's fine. But for me, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, so the other thing I did was to actually clip the fingernails on Devastator because Devastator came with long claws, which Doomsday does not have long claws. Um, he has just a regular, well, Doomsday fingers without long claws coming off of them. So I clipped those off, painted them white, did the same thing with the toenails did all the paint work on all the bones all the little spikes and things coming off the shoulder and the chest uh, the little parts there on the back everywhere where there was a little bone spike coming out of his skin i painted that white same thing with the kind of bone protection there on his on his legs and his feet and sealed him up and there you go pretty pretty simple custom okay um, did not take a lot of effort at all, which is exactly the kind of custom I like since I am, as I said, but a lowly kit basher. Um, and I think it came out really good for me. Again, your personal preference may differ, but for me, I'm very happy with the results of this. And I just wanted to show you guys how with just a little bit of effort, you can, as I said, have some fun with your collection. And that is what this hobby is all about, is having a little fun, right? And uh, this is definitely a great way to do it. So the ultimate test of a good's doomsday is how does he look next to Superman? So here we have Action Comics 1000 Superman, and this is what they look like side by side. And I think this looks great. Doomsday is big and wide and hulking, and it just looks great next to Superman. Definitely looks like somebody that could kill Superman, and that's what I want. That's what I want from a good Doomsday, and I personally am very happy with how this guy turned out. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this and show you that uh, it's not very difficult to get something cool in your collection. So there you go, guys. There is my uh, little custom Doomsday made from Devastator again. No brainer here. This is something you've seen a hundred times, but I just wanted to show you how I did it. So I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know. Um, is this something you've done? I'd love to see what you've done with your Devastator to make him into Doomsday. Uh, and what do you think of doing this? Uh, is this the kind of thing you like to do for your collection? Do you like to add a little custom touches to your collection, or do you just kind of stick to whatever uh, the companies make? I don't know. I, I like to play with my collection a little bit, so there you go. But thank you guys for watching, as always, and always remember to enjoy your collection.